welcome back to my channel guys and today we're going to look at the Shining Nikki interface so that we can understand what is going on and how to make an account, how to make your name, where is the stylist shops or where everything is so that you guys can navigate your way through the game more easily. At first I was going to go through each of the pictures like this and like this and like this but then I thought that it would be more intuitive if I actually restarted my game and then just went through it step by step with you guys. So what about the translations? The translations are all in a PowerPoint and I'll link it in my description box or maybe the pinned comment so that you guys can see and you guys will have full access to it so that you can just look through the pictures and then see what it means. You can look at the presenters notes which is at the bottom of each slide. For some of the slides we just put it there because it's just easier to write it down rather than just overlay what they said. Without further ado, let me introduce you to the team who actually helped make this guide come to fruition. It's Sin Kitty, Lunala, and Starla. All of us worked really hard to translate the Chinese into the English and we're working toward translating other parts of the game like the association. So stay tuned for that one. We're going to be working hard on that. And then um, if you guys can follow their Instagrams, which is listed below, they are actually huge Love Nikki players. I think Sin and Luna, they both have over 90%. I think like 97% wardrobe count. Me and Starla, we're both around like 60 or 60, 70%. So we're, we're still getting there, but we're all like really into Love Nikki. So we're always going to keep you updated with any events related to either Shiny Nikki or Love Nikki. Also, if you want to stay updated to content like this remember to comment like and subscribe because it will help my channel a lot without further ado let's dive into the video okay so on this screen you see the bottom the blue one means guest account the pink one in the middle obviously means Facebook and on the right it just means email login so we're just going to go with the guest account because I don't have another Facebook account that I can link to to um, make this shining Nikki account and you saw the notifications over there those notifications I already translated it and it's on the Google Doc so you can just go there and check so in the middle here, these are the servers that you can go to. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but I think that because there's a live chat, there's probably going to be more and more servers open to us soon. And right now there's only this one, and this is the one I'm in. Green just means it's available, red it means that it's not, and gray means you don't have access to it yet. So if you want to enter the game, just press the red down there below the server information. And here we see Nikki. Nikki looks cute AF and then she just says hello I am Nikki and then she just starts talking to you about a bunch of stuff and here you can see this is your wardrobe so if you go to the bottom where it's making you click that's your shoes and she just tells you to put on shoes same with the dress she just tells you to put on a dress which is her classic love Nikki dress look how cute she is with the way she moves it's so realistic okay so this is the stylist battle and I can translate it for you guys, but I'm just gonna tell you what it is. So every stylist battle, it's the same thing. You have to have a pattern of what you're going to click. So let me just tell you what that means. You're going to have um, some buttons on the bottom to press. You can't just randomly click them because it would make you miss it and you won't be able to get the shining moment. So I'll show you that after when it just stops doing the tutorial. But as you can see, the quality of this game is so high. Like even the fabric, you can see that it's different materials for different pieces of clothing. So I think that's super neat. And that one says your nay, I think, in Cantonese. And it just means like wonderful or something. So that would be the equivalent to S rank. Over here, it asks you what your name is. And a lot of people I know missed this part because they didn't realize that they were telling you what, like they were asking you what the name is. So the blue diamond over there says randomize. So if you don't have a name you want, you can just randomize it. Or you can just write whatever you want. So I'm just going to write F-E. And then I'm going to press enter. She's asking if I'll come with her and obviously I don't have a choice. Look how beautiful the city is. Like I wish I could live in it because look at that greenhouse. Look at everything. It's so pretty. And this one. So this symbol, whenever you see it on a stage, it just means that it's a story stage. So you're not going to battle anything. For the sake of the video, I'm just going to skip it. I did explain what chapter 1-1 one, one roughly translated to in my previous video. So you guys can look at it there if you're interested in it. One thing I really like about this game is that you can skip through the dialogue and you don't have to wait for them to completely write everything. So that's one plus about this game. So you can see how 1-2 is different from 1-1. One, one. It's a circle rather than like two cards. I also translated this version over here. You can check it out in the Google Docs. But just to tell you, the top over here, it just means 
mean score underneath is the style that it is. The bottom over here with the hearts, it just says how many stamina you need to use to complete the stage and then what will drop from the stage. So these ones are just different poses that will drop from the stage and you can use it in freestyling. So I'm just going to skip through the story again because online there's different translations for it so you can go read the story there. And here it just shows you how to put on clothes. So on the top here it just shows that right now you have 136 points for that style. And then you can just put on the clothes over here and it will add up to the style. So the clothes are often categorized so that the top one is the highest score one but usually the second or the third can also be the high scored clothing. Here are the shoes that she's put her on and I like how she actually gains height when you put shoes on. So here is photos. You just have to take a photo with the pose and then that's it. So this is not the styling stage that you'll often see. Some stages are like this, so it would be rather easy to complete. But you just have to wait until Nikki gets into the correct pose, or just any pose you want, and you just take a snapshot. So we're just going to choose this one, and then we're going to complete the stage like that. It's actually really simple whenever these stages come. At the bottom over here, you see that there are 10 diamonds. It just shows that if you share it, so you press the blue button and you share it, you can get 10 diamonds. I'll show you that later because right now, the game doesn't let me click on that. So it shows that we've obtained these two poses and you can use it in the freestyling. So 1-3 is also a story stage because you see that it's the symbols of like two cards. Like there's nothing you can do here except for get items from this police officer. So you can also share these items. So just press the blue button. Oh wait, I lied. So I'm not part of either Instagram or Line, but pretend that there's Facebook. You can just press on Facebook and share it. So I just got an entire outfit from this officer. Thank God, he's so nice. And then um, we're just gonna wait until the story is finished. They talk a lot. So here we're going to go to the freestyling. And you can see that you have set suits over here. This is the suit that the police officer gave you. And you can also click on that. So Sorry, I lagged a little. And then you can set the suit. So this is setting the suit and you will have this every time you open your home screen. Over here, it just shows you what you're going to run it at. So um, this one says low, medium, high, and super high, which is basically the resolution that you're going to be in. That one on the right, it says this is lag proof or to prevent lag. And this is to prevent overheating. I'm just gonna stick with the lowest option right now so I don't lag. And this one is just to enter and we're gonna go back. So you see how Nikki right now, she has the set suit that we put on earlier. This is what I meant by her having the suit seen on the homepage. Over here is just like your daily stuff that you can do. Um, you sign in for seven days and then you'll be able to get this entire outfit. And now we're just gonna go back to the story stages. So this is chapter one four and we're just going to quickly blast through it. Remember that this lore is low-key in the future, so it's like a continuation of Love Nikki. So if you're confused about that, it's inevitable because the English server is kind of slower than the Chinese server, which is ahead of us. So here's our boy and we're just gonna wait for him to finish talking. And you can click on the top to review the dialogue and it's just like Love Nikki. Anything in red, it just means that that's the theme. Obviously we can't read it, so so we'll just do our best to figure out what to do. Usually it's just like the best to look at the top left over here. It's so the wardrobe is already set to give you the highest of the green. Before we do that though, I need to go to the shop and buy something. Like they're making me go to the shop to buy something, which is fine, like whatever. And you can see how in each of these items, like there are different categories that it is in. For the green theme, this is 545. And now we're just gonna go back and press on the dress. So here's the style of stage, and this is what I mean by there are buttons to press. So I'm just gonna blast through that so that I can explain what it is, but every time you're going to have a formula. It's clicking on the dress icon once, clicking on the hat icon twice, and then clicking on the hair once, hat item three times, and then the shoes once. So that might be a little confusing. I'll write that down somewhere so that it's more intuitive for you guys to read, but it's the same every time. And then remember after the first combo, which is the dress, two hat items. It's not a hat actually, it's just like accessories, but I'm just gonna say hat because she has a hat on. But after you press one dress, two hats, one hair, you have the shining moment, which is this, and you just have to connect the dots from one, two, and three. You wanna do that because you wanna have extra bonus points. And yeah, that's it. The only reason why this can become more difficult over time is because you can actually encounter people that will switch up your ability. So you need to know which is what when you're pressing. So here we pass the stage. It wasn't that great because I wasn't able to show you how it is without the tutorial help. So hopefully this one, they'll let me just do my thing. So that is the style. And then let's go to the dress. You see 333, that's the score and that's the highest rank that you can get. 
Here, if you can't pass it, it just means to hold on it so that you can see the, the detailed information about that. That's how you can pass this part. And then you can just go through every single one. This is 179. You want to just have the highest rank of each. I'm just going to quickly go through this and then, I don't know, like put on some shoes and call it a day. You can also only have up to five accessories. So that's what it means when you try to put more than five accessories. Okay, so remember, dress first. Then you have to press two hats. So one... Two, then you put the hair, three, and that's the shining moment. So one, two, three. Now you have to go back to the hat three times. So one, two, three, and then you finish off with her shoes. Cool. So we completed that stage flawlessly and we're just gonna tap through it. Okay, so one six is another story stage and that's how it goes. I think it's past chapter two, you can unlock friends. Then for the Nikki, it has to be like past either two or part or halfway of two or maybe like one something. And you'll be able to go to her home which is at the bottom of the screen. For the sake of just finishing the tutorial, this is just the stylus center. You can do a bunch of stuff here. You can go to the shop, you can go craft, you can go upgrade some of your other stuff. I'll maybe make a more advanced guide later. This is the freestyling. And then you can take pictures with Nikki, which is really cute because she has all these really cute poses. I'll do another tutorial of like how to make your avatar and all that stuff later. I just wanted to go to like the main parts of the game. So this is the pavilion and I love the pavilion. Remember that you actually start off with 10 tickets and like the pavilion, um, you can have a free try every day for the coin one and every two days for the diamond one. This is the diamond one. And you can actually have diamond cards. It's just like pavilion cards that you can get from completing items. You just want to wait until you have 10 cards so you can do buy 10. So you have the guaranteed item. Oh, I think I just accept it here. Yeah, okay. So um, red one means to accept all of them. Blue one just, I think, just means to accept one by one. But you're not just going to go through every one of them to accept it because it's a waste of time. But now you see you have 10. And then I'm just going to do buy 10 because you're guaranteed one item to be super, like, super rare, I guess. Up there says skip, but I like to look at the animations. So the silver cards are the rare ones, and then the bronze cards are the not as rare ones. So this one, she is like the spells. So these are like the spell bonuses you can get. Anything that's a hexagon, you can use it during the stylus stage. Dude, I got so many better things from this account than my main account. I'm like low-key cheese. Dude, that tiara is so cute. Oh my god, I got so many good things on this account. I'm so salty right now. Okay, so that's that. And then we can do the 10 one, but I'm just gonna not do it because it's usually a lamer outfit. So these are like the not as good ones from the coin pavilion. And these ones are like the cooler ones from the diamond pavilion. Over here, it's the notifications. And then over here is the mail. Over here is the collection, so whatever you completed, so you just press that to complete it. Down here is just the store, as in the user store, so you have to spend money to buy those items. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. The thing with Nikki is that once you open her house option, you won't necessarily see her all the time. Think of her as like a pet. She won't be here unless there's like snacks or there's like food or sometimes she'll take movie tickets to go outside. She'll leave you a message to tell you that she's gone, gone for a bit. Otherwise, she's just gonna sit there, watch some TV. She's gonna be on her bed, chilling, and then you can talk to her and boost up your uh, relationship with her. Otherwise, um, I think that's it for the beginner's guide. I hope this was helpful to you guys. Let me know if you have any other questions. I'll do my best to answer them in maybe future videos, but yeah. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like my content, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!